grew up on an acreage just outside of Hospers, Iowa. His parents were beekeepers. He used to go out and work in the bee yards and work in the honey house and extract the honey. And they were very hard workers and he got his hardworking work ethics from them. My first memory of Dan was meeting him in the commons at Dort University. I was a freshman and we had mutual friends that went there and we were eating together and I was saying how I needed a history book and he said he had one and so I got a history book from him and kept running into each other at various times throughout the first few weeks of school and finally he got to brave enough to ask me out and that was the beginning of the rest of our life together. Dan and I got married in December 21 of 1981. We got married in my hometown that I grew up in. That following May of 1982 is when we packed up and moved to Arizona. It was hard leaving his family, but I think God had plans for us here at Valley. Valley Christian opened in 1982, and Dan began serving as a teacher in 1983, only our second year in existence. When Valley Christian opened in 1982, we were meeting on Bethany Community Church's campus, which is actually the same campus where our elementary school meets today. In the very first year, we just had freshmen and sophomores at Valley. I think we had 20 that first year. We had more than twice as many students in our second year, and that allowed us to hire a faculty member to do math and science, and that happened to be Dan. I have a very specific recollection of hiring Dan. Dan had applied for a job, and Harold Molinar and I interviewed Dan, and probably one of the smartest things that I was ever part of was the decision that we made to hire him. It's hard to say how really good he was as a classroom teacher. He was terrific, and that would rise up later when we were dealing with administrator questions arising. Do we want to lose one of the brightest stars of the entire faculty as we go forward and decide that he's gonna be an administrator at that point in time? The area of biblical integration is right in the forefront of all of our teaching. How do you incorporate God and the whole Bible into every subject matter. Well, Dan was one of the best at that. He was great at it. He saw the creation and everything made. He saw how God takes care of the sparrows and how he takes care of people. And he was so good at bringing that out in his lecture. And I think it was just his passion to be a man of God that his students felt when he was teaching that made his biblical integration some of the best I've ever seen when I've been in a classroom. And as far as a coach, being a track coach, which Dan was, and ended up being a two-time national coach of the year, which when you realize you're talking about a small Christian school in Arizona with a head coach receiving the highest honor that you can receive as a track and field coach, that's unheard of that that would have transpired, but it did. Dan served as a teacher and a coach until 1994 when he was asked to serve as the principal of the high school. Both of us being in education, we just really teamed up to do what we needed to in our home life in our church life and in our working life. Dan especially was extremely busy when he started administrating. He was coaching, teaching an anatomy class here. He was getting his master's degree in administration. And then on top of that, he was a deacon in our church and he was a husband and a father. He was the right guy again in the right place, doing the right job and doing it very well. He was responsible for getting the building built and then getting the school moved from the Price Road campus where we were to the Galveston campus where we are still to this day. After moving to a temporary location at Broadway and Price Road, 
Valley Christian moved to its permanent location in Chandler in 1997. In 1998, because of Dan's passion for teaching, he returned to the classroom. I met Dan Kuyper in 1999 when I started as a student here at Valley Christian. That was the third year on this campus. My freshman year I ran track and so Dan was my track coach. I ran track again my sophomore year and Dan also served as my biology teacher that year. And then Dan was my anatomy teacher my senior year as well. I can still remember walking across the stage at graduation and the teachers have a receiving line to congratulate each of the students. And I remember walking up to Mr. Kuiper and saying, thank you so much, Mr. Kuiper. And he said, you can call me Dan now. Dan went back into administration as the high school vice principal before being asked to become the high school principal in 2014 and has served as the leader of our school ever since. In 2007, there were two part-time positions available. One was in the development office and one was in the guidance office. I applied for both, received an offer for both, and put it all together and it was one full-time position. And I remained in that capacity until Dan and I both moved up to the principal's office at the same time and I've been serving there for the past several years. I really looked forward to working with Dan because we knew him as a coach and a teacher within our own family. So I knew what type of leader he was and I looked forward to serving with him. Shortly after completing our strategic plan, we opened our junior high campus at Gethsemane Church in 2018. Less than one year after opening our junior high, Valley Christian opened up our elementary school serving grades K through 12 on the very same campus that we had opened the high school campus 37 years before. Well, I hope I've made it clear how much I believe Dan has done on behalf of the students who passed through Valley Christian Schools and who will continue to pass through these halls. He has done a remarkable job, and I can only say thank you for what you've done. Valley Christian started in 1982 with 20 students across two grade levels on one campus. And today we serve more than 1,100 students and their families across 13 grades and multiple campuses. What God has done at Valley Christian is incredible. And God has used people like Dan Kuyper and others to faithfully serve and advance our mission of equipping students to be culture changers for Christ. In August of 2023, Dan announced his retirement as head of school at the end of the 23-24 school year. And I'm so grateful and humbled to be following in Dan's footsteps next year. Dan, I have learned so much from you. More from you than from any leader I've ever served under. And honestly, I wouldn't be here at Valley Christian today if it wasn't for you. Certainly not in this capacity. I wish you and Kathy the absolute best as you take your next steps forward in your journey. Dan, you did an outstanding job here as an educator, as a boss, and as a friend. I think the words I'd like to share with you is well done. Dan, I've so appreciated working alongside you these many years. And most of all, I've appreciated your above reproach mentality, your steadfastness, and your genuine walk with God. I wish you and Kathy many long bird watching adventures. Dan, what I would say to you is well done, good and faithful servant. You have literally impacted the lives of thousands of students, faculty, parents. Love your brother. Dan, thank you for your strong and unwavering devotion to God. I am so proud of all the work you've done here to further the kingdom of God, and I love you so much. <laughs>